Hello friends, I invite you to meet my new Patreon tier, where I am uploading all my lessons step by step, but with the tabs on the screen. This is the easiest way to learn my arrangements. While you listen to my explanation and see what I play with each of my hands, you can follow the video tab on the screen. And also, to encourage you to get it, I am offering a 7-day free trial. I'll be waiting for you. Okay friends, now we are going to learn how to play the song. I am playing with my guitar on D drop tuning. It's like the standard tuning, but with the 6th string drop to D. Now we are going to learn how to play the first part of the song. I'm going to divide it into parts and then at the end I will play both parts together. At the beginning I play this, measures number one and two. I put the palm of my hand, of my right hand, in the bridge of the guitar, very near the bridge, and I play at the beginning. Sixth string open, fifth string open, fourth string open, fifth string open, then sixth, fifth, four. So from the beginning, okay, then measure number three sounds like this. At the beginning I play together 6th string open and 2nd string on the 3rd fret, then 1st string open and then on the 2nd fret, then 1st string 5th fret, 2nd fret and then open. Okay, with me. Let's play from the beginning of this part. Three, four. Now measure number four sounds like this. I start playing together sixth string open and second string on the third fret and fifth string open and fourth string open. Then I play 1st string on the 2nd fret and then on the 5th fret. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this part. 3, 4. Number five sounds like this. At the beginning, I play this chord with a sixth string on the fifth fret, then third string open, and second string open, and first string on the fret of a seven with the pinky finger. Then first string on the fret number ten, fret number nine. 6th string open and then 2nd string fret number 10. From the beginning of this measure. Okay. From the beginning of this part. 3, 4. Measure number six sounds like this. Okay, at the beginning I play together fifth string open and second string on the fret number seven with the pinky finger, then fourth string open, then second string fret number eight, and then 
and then pull off to the second string fret number seven. Okay, and then I play together fifth and first strings open. And then to link with the next part, I play this second string on the third fret and first string open. So from the beginning of this measure. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this part. Three, four. Well, now measure number seven and the last two notes of measure number six sounds like this. Okay, I play second string, third fret, first string open, and then sixth string open together with the first string on the second fret, then first string, fifth fret. Then I play. First string on the second fret, then pull off to the first string open, second string, third fret, and then again first string open with this rhythm. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this measure. Okay. Next measure number eight sounds like measure number four. It's exactly the same. Let's go over very slow. Three, four. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this second half. Three, four. Now measure number 9 sounds like this. Okay, I play again this chord, 6th string, 5th fret, 2nd and 3rd and strings open, and then 3rd string on the fret number 7, and then I play 1st string, fret number 5 with the pinky finger, and then I put a bar here and I play first string on the second fret. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this second half. Three, four. second fret and then my middle finger pressing the second string on the third fret and I play fifth, second and first strings together and then I quit my, my bar and I play fifth string open, first string open and second string on the third fret And then I play this. I play together. Sixth string open with the palm mute effect, and I play 
at the same time this. Second string on the third fret with the index finger, then hammer on to the fifth fret with the pinky finger and then pull off to the third fret again. And then fifth string open, fourth string open, fifth string open. And then again sixth, fifth, fourth, fifth. Okay, let's play from here. Three, four. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this second half. Three, four. from the beginning of this first part three four Okay, now we are going to learn how to play the second part of this arrangement. I'm going to divide it in two parts and then at the end I will play both parts together. Measure number 13 sounds like this. Okay, at the beginning I play together 6th string open and 2nd string on the 3rd fret with the ring finger, then 1st string open, then 1st string on the 2nd fret with the middle finger and I will keep these two fingers here, then I will play 4th string open and then 3rd string on the 2nd fret and I will keep the whole position and then I play 4th string open and then 1st string 2nd fret and then again 4th string and then 1st string. Measure number 14 sounds like this. I start playing this. I play together fifth string open and first string on the fifth fret with the index finger, then hammer on to the fret number seven with the pinky finger, pull off to the fret number 5 and then pull off to the open 1st string. Then I play this. I play together 5th string open and 2nd string on the 3rd fret then 1st string open from the beginning. And then I play fifth string open, third string on the second fret with the middle finger and then again fifth string, third string, second fret. From the beginning of this measure okay let's play from the beginning of this part three, four Sure. 
measure sounds like this. Okay, at the beginning I put a bar in the second fret. I play together fifth string and third and then with my pinky finger I go with the hammer on to the third string fret number four. Then I play second string fret number two. And then I play again the fifth string in the second fret. And then I play these two notes, third and second strings. Then again fifth string and then I play the third string on the fret number four and second string on the fret number three. And to finish I keep this position and I play fifth string and then third string. So from the beginning. Let's play from the beginning of this part, three, four. Next measure, number 16, sounds like this. play together 6th string on the 5th fret with the middle finger and 3rd string on the 4th fret with the index finger and then I play again the 6th string on the 5th fret then I play the 4th string on the fret number 7 and then together 5th string open and 4th and string on the fret number 2 5th string open, 4th string fret number 2. Then I play twice the 5th string open. And then to finish, I play this. I play together 5th string open together with the 3rd string on the 2nd fret and then second string on the second fret okay let's play from the beginning of this part three four Let's learn now the second half of this second part, measure number 17. At the beginning I play together 6th string open and 2nd string on the 3rd fret, 1st string open, 1st string 2nd fret, then 4th string open, 1st string 2nd fret, 4th string open, 3rd string 2nd fret. then 4th string open and 1st string 5th fret with me 3, 4 ok, measure number 18 sounds like this beginning I play together 5th string open and 1st string on the 2nd fret with the index then hammer on to the 1st string 3rd fret pull off to the 2nd fret pull off to the 1st string open then 5th string open 2nd string 3rd fret 
then together first string and fifth string was open, then second string, second fret with the middle finger. And then I play fifth string open and then second string on the third fret with the middle finger. I put a bar in the second fret and pull off to the second string, second fret. And then I play this. I play at the beginning together. I put a bar in the second fret and at the beginning I play fifth string on the second fret and third string on the fourth fret together then fourth string on the fourth fret then again third string fourth fret then second string on the second fret and then on the third fret Let's play from the beginning of the second half. Three, four. Okay, and let's play from the beginning of the second part. Three, four. Okay, now we are going to learn how to play the third part of the song. I'm going to divide it in two parts and then at the end I will play both parts together. Measure number 20 and the last note of measure number 19 sounds like this. Okay, at the beginning I put half bar in the fret number 7. I play second string, first string, then first string, fret number 9. Then I play this. I play first string on the fret number 10, second string open with my thumb. Sorry, third string open with my thumb, and then second string open. Then first string on the fret number 9. Fourth string open, third string open, second string open, and then first string on the fret number five with the pinky finger. So. Okay, let's play with me. Two, three. Measure number 21 sounds like this. I start putting a D major position like this. At the beginning, I play together fifth and first string, then third string, second string. Then I play first string on the fret number three, pull off. To the second fret, then I put an A major position like this, and I play fifth string on first, then third string on the second fret, second string on the second fret. So from the beginning. 
beginning. And then to finish, I play second string on the third fret and then first string open. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this part. Two, three. Measure number 22 sounds like this. At the beginning, I played, I put a B minor position like this, a bar in the second fret, and then I press with my pinky finger the third string on the fourth fret, and then the second string on the third fret with the middle finger. At the beginning, I play together 5th and 1st strings, then 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, 5th, then 1st string, and then hammer on to the 1st string, 3rd fret. from the beginning of this part three four okay next measure number twenty three A major position, sorry, with a half bar in the fret number two, and then I press with the pinky finger the first string on the fifth fret, and I play together at the beginning. Fifth string open, and first, then third, second, third, then I go this other A major position and I play together first string and fifth strings open together then third string on the second fret second string on the second fret and then again third string on the second fret so from the beginning of this measure Let's play from the beginning of this part. Three, four. Okay, the second half of this third part, measure number 24. Okay, it's very similar to other measure we have played before. I will show you how to play again very quick. Sixth string open together with the second string on the third fret, first string open, first string on the second fret, and fourth string open, third string, second fret. I keep the position and I play again. Fourth string, first string, fourth string, first string. So from the beginning. Okay, now measure number 25.
I put a bar in the fret number two and then I play together sixth string on the fret number two and second string on the fret number five then first string on the fret number two first string fret number four then I keep the position and I play sixth string second and first and then again sixth string second and first and then again sixth string second and first so from the beginning okay I keep the position and I move it two frets up and I play this I play the same as before, but two frets up, then I play the sixth string, then I play together sixth, second and first, and then again second and first. So then I play sixth and then I play twice second and first. So from the beginning of this third part three four learn how to play the ending of the song measure number 28 and 9 I put a D major chord at the beginning I played together 6th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd strings then 3rd, 2nd, 1st I play together 6th and 2nd, 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, from the beginning. Then I put a B minor chord with a bar in the 2nd fret and then ring finger in the 4th string 4th fret, pinky finger in the 3rd string 4th fret and 2nd string on the 3rd fret with the middle finger at the beginning I play this I play 5th, 4th and 3rd strings together then 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string Then I play together 5th and 3rd strings, then 4th, 3rd, 4th. So I play this with the B minor chord. Let's play from the beginning of this ending, 3, 4, Then 
then I play this. I play this chord with the 6th string on the 5th fret, then 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings open, then I play 1st string on the 3rd fret, 1st string on the 2nd fret, and then this A major chord, I play 5th string open, 3rd string on 2nd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret, 1st string open, so... Let's play from the beginning of this part, 3, 4... I play this. I play this D major chord. I play six, four, third, and second strings. Then I play a C major chord. Then I play twice the second string, keeping this position. And I play again a D major chord. So Okay, let's play from the beginning of this ending. Three, four. Do you know that the most of those who start the video don't get to finish it? Congratulations, you have been very tense. Just like it took you a long time to get here, it also cost me a lot to make this video. Take the song by ear, write the score, compose the arrangement, practice it, record it and edit the video with this long and detailed explanation to make it easier for you to learn. That is why, whenever it's within your means, I invite you to make a contribution to my project. It can be to Patreon, becoming a special member on my YouTube channel, buying one of my t-shirts or the finger style course I am working on. I thank you very much for your support. See you on my next video. A la prochaine. Arrivederci. Gute Nacht. Hasta luego.